Hey, I'm Nick Hawks with Gristle King, walking you through the Helium year in review for 2022. Today is December 31st. It is 3.08 in the afternoon, so about eight hours to go for the rest of the year here in San Diego. And I figured I'd take the time to walk you through what I saw happening this year in Helium. Now, at the start of the year, we had 500,000 hotspots online. I know it gets kind of thrown about. By the end of the year, we got about a million. We all know that we don't actually have a million hotspots online, that a bunch of them are offline, um, and that we probably have something like, I don't know, 400 to 600,000 that are routinely online, uh, and maybe a little bit lower than that. So that can look good or bad. I think to me, it looks great. It looks a lot like the growth bubble that we were in for most of 2021 has burst, which is really nice. You don't want to be in a bubble for too long. You want to actually get to the meat of the stuff, which is where we are now. A couple hundred thousand hotspots online being active, kind of doing the hotspot thing of passing on LoRa data. Now, for this review, I'm only going to do LoRa stuff. Uh, 5G is still pretty early. Um, and I think Laura is really where a lot of the action and the most excitement for me personally is. So I'm just not going to deal with the, the 5G stuff now. The way to think about this, because uh, I get a lot of questions like, hey, are, is Helium dead? You know, is hot, are hotspots over? We talked about this on a recent State of the Network, is the state that the Helium ecosystem in right now is a lot like the state of construction that a new building is in. When you see the lot has been cleared, and the hole for the basement has been dug and they're starting to put up the scaffolding. Maybe they're a couple floors up. So we've all walked by a building downtown somewhere in the world where they got this giant hole in the ground and there's a bunch of scaffolding and people are starting to use it. And we're seeing businesses come in and being paid to learn how to use it or being paid to start building out the structure for it. But it's not a building yet where you can walk in the door, go up to the seventh floor, walk into the office and do your thing. That's not where we are. Um, but Nobody walks by a building under construction and says, or at least nobody in a you know, building under construction where the construction looks pretty awesome, walks by and says like, ah, pff, that thing's dead. Like it's just still being built. So that's where we are with Helium right now. And I think that's a, a really useful analogy. Uh, within the next year, I think what we'll see is a couple of those first uh, levels will be built, a couple of those stories will be built on that building. And you will be able to walk in the door, talk to the concierge, uh, to the front desk, whoever it is, and go up to the seventh floor and knock on door, you know, 728 and walk inside and get serviced in some way or be able to rent rooms out or do whatever it is that the analogy takes you to with that building. So I think it's a it's a really good time to be in Helium. I would say you are still probably on the early side. Uh, we are getting closer to the sweet spot of Helium um, and you're certainly not too late. So it's a great time to be in Helium, great time to find out about it. If you feel like you got into it now and you felt, you know, like, oh, I, I missed a great bubble. Yeah, you missed a great bubble. Big deal. The best is yet to come by a long shot. So let's talk about what that best looks like. It is 2023 will be the year of two things in my book. Number one, it will be the year of the sensor. Uh, if you were to pan around my workshop here, you'd see there's a ton of sensors on all the tables. I am learning and sharing how to use those sensors as fast as I can. I think knowing how to use a sensor, how to get on board of the network, how to get it actually working, and then how to interpret the data that it's giving you is probably the most approachable skill um, for anyone to come in and figure out how they interact with the Helium network. Um, it's not that hard. It is not super easy. It's not like reading three words in a sentence. Um, you know, Billy sees the cat or four words. You do have to start putting some words together and string together paragraphs in a story, but that's where I think all or most of the action is going to be in 2023. So 2023 will be the year of the sensor, and number two, 2023 will be the year of usage. Now, we did see a really interesting fact popped up uh, on a State of the Network recently with Joey Hiller over at Helium Foundation when they are looking at all of the data. What they saw is that sometime, I think it was around November, uh, for the first time, the usage of the network was actually done more by non-Helium uh, LoRa Alliance members than by Helium. So what does that mean? It means that the network that Helium built is now being used by Senate, by Actility, by whoever's out there. Anyone who is running their own private network has seen the power and the usefulness, utility, in the Helium network, and they're actually using it more than you and I as kind of Helium natives are using it. That is a really good sign. That is one of the reasons the network was built, so that anyone could come in and use it. It was always meant to be permissionless, and that is one of the kind of most healthy signs I think we see out of 2022, is that the uh, folks using you know, the, the growth of the network on the non-Helium side, so kind of interacting with the rest of the world outside of the Helium ecosystem, is starting to really build. So that is fantastic news. 
Uh, so 2023 year of the sensor, it's year of the usage as well. So that is the first part of the usage. The second part will be people who are kind of, um, let's say like next to the system and close to the system. So they're crypto native projects or blockchain and meat space projects. They are projects like HiveMapper, like GeoNet, like Anonet Labs, um, like Demo, like WeatherXM, all these different projects that are working in and around and starting to use. Not all of those that I've listed have used or interacted with Helium yet, but I think by the end of 2023, we're gonna see strong connections between all of those projects and Helium. Whether Helium is using them or they're using Helium, um, I think that's the other thing we'll see is that the usage is going to explode. So it'll be, you know, a nice time for us, probably December 2023, and you could bookmark it if you want or timestamp it or put your calendar alert on it, is I think we'll see a ton of usage on the Helium network. We will not see whatever the stupid number is that gets thrown about by people who haven't done a full study on it. It's like, oh, it's only 7,000 bucks a month. I think we're going to see a uh, markedly larger number and we're going to see tons and tons of actual usage cases coming on board in 2023. So that's the Big exciting piece. I got my notes here, so going through it. Um, and that begs the question, okay, cool. Here we are, uh, end of 2022, lots of network growth. All the frothy stuff is kind of behind us. We're really getting into the meat of the network now. We're seeing uh, projects come in and using Helium. We're saying, you're, you're hearing me say, hey, 2023 is going to be the year of sensor, year of usage. What can you do, right? And whether you is, whether you, whether you is, whether you are someone who bought a helium miner early on and just wanted passive income and they got interested in the project, whether you just found out about it recently, maybe we talked on the plane last week, maybe we talked making coffee this morning, whatever it was when I was roasting coffee with my buddy, whoever you are, is if you want to interact with the helium network at the level that I think is most profitable in two senses, profitable in the straight financial sense, and also profitable for personal growth and ability to um, interact with the world and have agency over what you're doing and learn something new. I think the absolute best thing that you can do, and probably in the first couple months of 2023 is the best time to do it, is get one, uh, two, or three of the following kinds of certifications or courses. So number one will be something like Code Academy where you're learning how to code. Now that's kind of the geekiest way to do it, I see those guys sending out emails all the time for 50% off. If I can find one in my email box, I'll drop it down in the description. But you can certainly find codeacademy.com and learn how to code, learn how to start interacting with the Helium Network. This is kind of your opportunity. And if you've ever watched any Scott, Album, uh, Scott Adams of Dilbert fame, talk about when you start to stack skills, every skill you add to your skill set doubles your chances of success. You already know how to deploy a Helium hotspot. Like a lot of people felt like they were too intimidated by that and didn't do it. But you know, all you got to do is plug it in, get it up high, get the antenna out there. You're good. You stack another skill on top of that, whether that is coding or some of the other certifications I'll talk about, you're going to double your chances of success. So I think if you want to continue interacting with the Helium ecosystem this year, and I suggest that, you know, you do, I think it's a great place to be. Um, start stacking up those skill sets. You don't have to be the world's best Python coder. You don't have to know... Russ, you don't have to know like any, you know, one of these specific things. You just got to know some of them and you got to stack that on top of some other amount of knowledge. So don't be intimidated by the fact that you don't know anything now or you're not the best coder right now or you don't totally understand with a, a total, you know, mastery of depth one field. Start stacking those fields together. And I think what you're going to see in 2023 is some pretty big opportunities pop up. So Code, Code Academy is the first one. There is also a LoRaWAN certification that you can get. So you learn a lot more about LoRaWAN. Even if you just get it for your kind of personal use messing around, I think that's great. But if you want to build a business, a career in this workspace, um, that is a great uh, thing to do. And I want to say, I'm not totally sure on this, but I want to say it's free right now. I don't think it'll always be free. If it's not free, you know, whatever it is, you decide whether it's worth it to you to pay that. And the last thing is take some kind of sensor course. Now, Gristle King may or may not do some sensor courses. I've talked about it. I'm not sure that's exactly where GK is going to go. Um, I know Rob Putt over at TrackPack has talked about doing sensor courses. We've talked about doing those together. Whether you get it from, from me or from us or from the Gristle King server, or you get it from somewhere else. I want to say Seed has some really good stuff. There's lots of places out there, and I'll put a link down in the description to what I know about. Uh, there's lots of places to learn about how to onboard and use sensors. So that's what's coming down the pipe. That's kind of where we are, is we went through this like massive growth that really tailed off, um, which is a good thing, right? You don't want this thing to grow forever. If it grows forever and grows infinitely, eventually there's no value left. So you want the bubble to pop at some point where you can now still get some value out of it. And I think we are well within that really healthy area. Um, so once the growth is over, you want to start to say, okay, what is the next part of this? How do I interact with it? And that is pretty obviously learning how to use sensors, learning how to code, or learning kind of the basic protocols in the network. Now, 
It isn't to say Helium is the only way to make money, that Helium is the only great project out there. There's lots of good projects out there, but I know a lot of you have followed me since the beginning in Helium when I started off and are kind of wondering, okay, what do I do next? This is what I think you are gonna do or you should be doing next. Now, I'll kind of close with this one, which I think is one of my favorite quotes, is that a lot of people uh, don't wanna do, what is it, I'm gonna butcher this one. Now, it's a Henry Ford quote where he says, you know, but most people don't aren't successful because it goes around uh, wearing overalls and it looks a lot like work. And that's where we are right now, right? Is that if you wanna be successful, it is no longer a time where you get to put a helium hotspot in your window and make your whatever, I don't know, three grand or seven grand or whatever it was per month, those times, gone. Um, however, this giant new ecosystem is expanding and if you are just willing to paddle out and ride that wave up, I think you're gonna see a lot of personal, professional, financial, whatever it is, growth uh, by the end of this year. So that's my great hope for you. There's no guarantees, no promises in any of this. Of course, this isn't financial advice. But if you wanna see where I think this thing is going and you wanna continue participating and you are super psyched to learn and progress and grow, for your, grow yourself, I think Helium is a really, really good place to be. So hope you have a rad new year. I'm going to go over and have some uh, food with friends, enjoy myself, and I will see you in 2023. Rock on.